What is up, investors, and welcome back to the Everything Crypto Show. I'm your host, Everything Crypto, here to bring you the latest and most important news moving the crypto market. Now, we are back today with another very important weekly crow update, as Crypto.com has officially addressed the rumors that they laid off 40% of their staff, and the same week, they announced a new European headquarters with a massive investment into crypto infrastructure, as well as the Crypto.com exchange version 3.0, and then on the Kronos side of things, we have seen a bunch of money flow into Kronos in the past 48 hours, as well as some very important news about the upcoming Kronos metaverse. So without further ado, it is time to sit back, relax, grab that morning cup of joe and enjoy the show. Happy Sunday, everyone. I did just want to ask that if you've not yet hit that sub and like button, please consider doing so and joining the Everything Crypto Squad as the number one goal of this channel is to bring you all of the most important news that you need to know on a daily basis. Now, with that out of the way, we are going to hop right in here with the question of the day. And today's question is, will you be using the Crypto.com exchange as your main crypto app when it goes live in the US? Let me know in the YouTube comments down below. And this is not to be confused with the Crypto.com main app that is currently live in the US. This is the Crypto.com exchange, which is effectively their version of Coinbase Pro. It offers very attractive trading fees as well as actually a potential trading rebate depending on how much crow you have staked within the exchange so i think that this exchange launching in the u.s is going to be very bullish for the price action of crow as institutions begin locking it up in the exchange to get some of those rebates back on all of their crypto trades now we're going to hop right in here to the crow chart as well and the reason we're going to talk about this is because we are approaching this 10 cent level again. And the two previous times we did approach this 10 cent level, we talked about very nice swing trades here on Crow. The first one came at the June bottom and it was a nice swing from 10 cents all the way up here to 15 cents, making for a swing of about 50% in a month and a half. And then the second one here was a bounce from 10 cents all the way up to the 50 and 100 day moving average at 12 and a half cents, making for a swing trade of about 20% in just a couple of days. Now we are coming back down to that 10 cent level again and even though third time is supposed to be a charm I will actually not be taking the trade this time and there's a couple of reasons why So the first one here is the thesis behind these trades of crow coin at 10 cents is that both times we hit 10 cents The crypto.com team was actually burning a bunch of crow to help inflate that price I have checked the dead wallet since we have come back down to this 10 cent level and it does not appear that the crypto.com team has once again been making these aggressive burns so that is the first reason that we are not taking this trade on again and the second one really is the fact that as crow coin has been moving lower throughout this bear market the 50 and 100 day moving average have also been creeping lower and they now sit right at 11 cents so the risk reward here for me is really not that appealing with only about 10 cent of potential upside before we do run into more resistance as you can see here we have not been above the 50 day on crow really since late august and that is where i would expect it to get some overhead resistance so that is why i am actually staying away from this trade right now there's actually two alternative trades that i am looking for on crow and the first one would actually be a swing below 10 cents in which case i would be looking to actually potentially take a short on here to that five and a half cent level which could make for a nice swing of about 40 to 45 percent and then to the upside here i would actually need to see crow break above 12 and a half cents which is the 100 day moving average and then from there up to 15 cents would make for a nice potential swing of give or take 25 to 30 percent so that is what i am looking for on crow and now we are going to hop right into the news and it should go without saying that this is purely for my short-term swing trading portfolio long term my crow is not for sale now getting into the slew of upgrades that crypto.com did actually deploy this week and we're going to start with the small stuff and then move into the big stuff and there is no shortage of that this week so for starters here your fiat wallet within the crypto.com main app has now been integrated with the target price orders feature so you can see right here in the main app you can now basically set a target price so when ethereum hits 4000 usd your crypto.com app is going to automatically place the order for you and this is 
is very advantageous as a crypto investor to actually have some sort of target price feature and i like how easy crypto.com has made it to put this right through your fiat wallet so you can effectively automate your orders without having to monitor the markets 24 7 and this is definitely something that i have taken advantage of in the past especially overnight sometimes if the market is incredibly volatile or if it has made a big move to the downside then i do generally set some target price orders before bed and then sometimes i wake up and these target price orders have been hit and other times they have not but i'm sure you've all woken up if you've been in crypto long enough at least one morning and seen one of your favorite cryptos at a price that you wish you had caught overnight while you were sleeping and this is a very very effective way to work around that so definitely a small upgrade to the main app but still very helpful as a crypto investor and definitely something you guys should be aware of now on the DeFi wallet side of things they actually listed 10 new tokens this week they listed four for arbitrum three for polygon and three for ethereum so really building out their support not only for ethereum but also for the ethereum layer 2 tokens like arbitrum and polygon and this is very very good news as it does indicate that crypto.com is working towards making their DeFi wallet not only a DeFi wallet for chronos and crypto.org but also just a broad based DeFi DeFi wallet for Ethereum, for the Binance chain, Avalanche, Solana, and tons of other popular DeFi protocols. And this is a good sign because they are really gearing this up to be a serious competitor to MetaMask. And given Crypto.com's brand awareness, their new desktop wallet extension, as well as the vertical integration between this DeFi wallet and tons of decentralized applications, I really think that this Crypto.com DeFi wallet can in fact become a serious competitor to MetaMask as they really do continue to build out that infrastructure and also really focus on the ease of use factor, which is going to make it a lot easier easier for them to continue onboarding new users who may be either confused or a little bit scared to hop into the DeFi side of things. Now they did also make a huge upgrade to the DeFi wallet here in terms of the swapping feature. So you can see here that as of the time of this recording, one crow coin was equivalent to about 10 cents. So it was equivalent to about uh, 0.103 per crow. Now you can see that I put 10 crow in here to swap to one USDC and it came out to 1.03973 so effectively this was a zero percent fee for actually swapping these two cryptos it is a straight one for one swap with no fee involved only about a 0.5 percent slippage tolerance and this is a huge feature in my opinion that is going to incentivize a lot of people to actually move their crypto over to the DeFi wallet and then swap it here for stable coins as opposed to on a main app where obviously the centralized exchanges do take a cut of the fee so crypto.com is now giving you the option they're giving you a way to swap your crypto into stable coins for zero percent fees and that once again is a very bullish feature even metamask charges a little bit of a fee for the actual swap of tokens within their interface and i think crypto.com is really trying to make this push here so that people do tend to use their DeFi wallet instead of another one and that is definitely going to incentivize even me personally to do my stable swaps within this DeFi wallet itself now you can see here that they offer a ton of networks including Kronos, Ethereum, the Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Avalanche, Phantom, Arbitrum, and I have no idea which one this is, but the point is, is that this is not only for Crypto.org or for Kronos. As I said, they are really building out that broad-based DeFi infrastructure to make all of the Crypto.com features your one-stop shop for all of your crypto needs, and I think that is definitely going to work for them in the long run. So some very nice upgrades to the DeFi wallet and now we're going to get into the two really big upgrades here and the first one is to the gen 3.0 crypto.com exchange one powerful trading machine built for the future faster better and greater so what are the actual updates that they did make to this exchange well there's really just two main ones that i do want to put the attention on and the first one here is the ability to access all of their products from one single wallet so for those of you that don't know before this the spot and derivative exchange wallet wallets were actually two different wallets which was a little bit frustrating because you would have to actually transfer your crypto to the crypto.com exchange and then actually move it between these two wallets in the same app depending on if you wanted to trade on spot or derivatives so now they have gone ahead and integrated all of this into one wallet which once again is going to be, be very good for the beginner friendly aspect and the user experience which is a big focus
focus for crypto.com as a company we've talked about this how they really like on making all of their products as beginner friendly as possible while still being friendly and offering very intricate uh, use cases for the more developed crypto traders and that really is a win-win because they can please the experienced traders as well as onboard the next generation of crypto investors and the second thing here that is sort of a push to do this is actually enabling usd fiat deposits slash withdrawals and usd bundle trading pairs so previously the crypto Crypto.com exchange did not offer any option to actually convert or rather transfer fiat into the exchange app. You would have to actually move it to the main app, purchase a stable coin, and then move that stable coin over to the exchange. It did not allow you to directly transfer from your bank to the exchange. They are fixing that now and actually allowing you to make direct bank deposits and transfers right to the crypto.com exchange. So really, once again, just cutting out an unnecessary additional step. This is a feature that not even coinbase pro has at the moment you actually have to buy crypto and then move it over to the exchange for the usdt and usdc trading pairs and now the crypto.com exchange has found a way to work around this by offering usd bundle trading pairs once again very bullish for that ease of use and i think it will leave a lot of people to really make their way over to this exchange when it does go live in the united states now, the exchange going live in the United States is something that we are looking forward to because I believe it is going to be very bullish for the price action of Crow. And the reason being here is that you can actually stake your Crow within the exchange for a 4 to 8% APR. And I'm sure you're thinking, well, you can obviously get a 10 plus percent APY in the DeFi wallet. But the reason this is actually advantageous to stake in the exchange if you are a frequent trader is because there are additional incentives outside of just getting that APY. APR based on how much crow you have locked up. You can see here that for staking 50,000 crow, you are going to earn a 4% APR. And the big thing here is a 0% maker fee on your trades. So if you have staked 50,000 crow in this exchange, you're going to be getting that 4% interest per year and not paying a single dollar for in, in trading fees, essentially, which is very, very bullish if you are a frequent trader to basically not have to worry about fees whatsoever. Because even that one to two percent that these exchanges take on every trade that does add up a lot right like over 50 trades that's 50 percent give or take of the transactions you have done in value so yes it definitely does add up and this is very very advantageous to stake your crow to really reduce and pretty much eliminate those fees now additionally here if we look at the higher bundles you're going to notice that for 100,000 crow, not only are you getting a 0% maker fee, you are getting a 0.01 .01 basis point rebate. That means you are getting refunded in crow based on the percentage that you have traded. And then for staking 500,000 crow plus, you are getting an 8% APR and a 0.02% rebate on all of your trades. So I'm sure you can see how the crypto.com exchange makes it very, very beneficial for you to actually lock up your crow. This benefits crypto.com as they are helping increase the value of their token and it does help the individual traders as you are effectively getting 0% fees or actually getting a percentage back of your trades in Crow. Now think about this not from the perspective of retail but from the perspective of institutions who are potentially trading millions of dollars at a time. Yes, they are definitely going to want to stake their Crow if it does mean getting some of that money back. 0.01% of a million dollars is still a lot of of money back in their account and i definitely think they're going to take full advantage of this feature now do also keep in mind that this this upgrade here is set to go live in about three weeks time and it does lead me to believe that they are looking for a full launch in the u.s by the end of 2022 or in q1 of 2023 we know that earlier this year in march they did actually begin their exchange rollout in the u.s to select institutional investors i believe they have spent this past half of the year giving take just getting feedback from these institutions and made the changes accordingly so i do believe that lots of institutions are going to use the crypto.com exchange as their preferred crypto trading app and that only means bullish things for crow as more and more crow gets locked up and is therefore put out of the total circulating supply but it's probably the biggest piece of news coming out of crypto.com this week is their announcement of paris as their european regional headquarter this actually does come following their regular regulatory approval to operate in France as 
a digital asset service provider. And you can see here, they are also looking to commit 150 million euros of investment to support these market operations. I think that crypto.com is definitely targeting Europe here as one of their big markets for expansion. And their CEO, their, sorry, their COO does say here, they look forward to continuing to engage with stakeholders across sectors to help facilitate the new digital economy in France and provide customers a best in class crypto experience. We saw a couple of weeks back that when the European dollar started to fold, there were record inflows of the, of the Euro dollar actually flowing into Bitcoin. I think crypto.com definitely took note of this and is really looking to expand in Europe which is adopting crypto at a very very fast pace you can really see they are going for the strategy here of getting as much regulatory approval as possible throughout this bear market and really setting themselves up to be big beneficiaries in the next bull market by onboarding tons of new users I also don't think it's a coincidence that they are targeting Europe specifically right before the FIFA World Cup and which although we all know it is the World Cup it is definitely dominated mainly by European teams and you can see their strategy here on a global scale getting regulatory approval in France in Singapore in the UK in Ontario in South Korea in Italy in Cyprus in the Cayman Islands I mean this list just goes on and on as as well as Australia here as well actually so they have just not relaxed at all when it comes to this regulatory approval and I like the way they're approaching this because we did actually discuss this week how Binance is being investigated right now in the UK for potentially lying about their financial their financial statements essentially and whether this is confirmed or not it goes to show you that crypto.com is kind of taking lessons from Binance who did not get regulatory approval in fact Binance got uh, basically got ordered to stop operating in Ontario as of last year because they were not in compliance with the Ontario Securities Commission crypto.com is compliant with the Ontario Securities Commission and this is their strategy to really make sure they can just continue to expand on a global scale i do think it will benefit them greatly in the long run and this piece of news comes not even a week after there were huge rumors spreading around the internet that crypto.com actually downsized larger than they previously reported so we know that ceo chris marzalek had tweeted that they laid off 260 employees back in june or five percent of their workforce now there were pretty much rumors spreading that their downsizing was actually to the tune of 40 percent of their staff or about 2,000 of their employees. And obviously, as so, there has just been FUD on Crypto.com all week on Twitter. People saying they are going to go insolvent. People saying that Crow is not going to make it into the next bull run. And I think that Crypto.com did the correct thing by not addressing the rumors at all and just responding with a ton of upgrades to their platform. Now, additionally, we did make the point that even if these layoffs were true, you have companies like Coinbase, first of all, like also laying off employees but not to mention some of the biggest companies in the world i'm talking google apple meta microsoft amazon tesla who have all either halted or actually began laying off their employees so these were nothing but rumors and it was in fact confirmed here on twitter by red falcon who is a community manager for the loaded lions he said right here in a tweet that is not accurate, the claim of over 30% being cut is an exaggeration. The balance sheet is doing just fine. In fact, employees were informed on how much was chilling on the balance sheet, and it is a very healthy number. Majority of changes and cuts were made early on, and it has done well for the Crypto.com team. And Chris did actually comment on this specifically in the Crypto.com quarterly meeting. Now, Red Falcon actually tweeted this out on October 10th. And then two days later, we saw the confirmation of Crypto.com opening up their new headquarters in Paris and investing $150 million into that infrastructure. So I definitely do think that Crypto.com remains in a very good position. It is definitely unfortunate to hear that they did have to make these layoffs back in June. My heart goes out to anybody that may have have been impacted by them either directly or indirectly but as a company i think crypto.com is doing what they have to do to really sustain themselves throughout the bear market and become one of the number one exchanges in the world if not the number one exchange leading into the next bull run i do have a lot of faith in the team to handle themselves accordingly and keep that balance sheet tight and it looks like they have been doing exactly that so far 
Now, just a couple of days after we saw this announcement for France, actually on the same day, we also saw here a big milestone in the development of Chronos Play. And we have talked about Chronos Play as it's pretty much going to be, in my opinion, the big thing that Crypto.com and the Chronos chain are known for is the GameFi side of things on the Chronos chain. Now, I'm going to actually pull up the Chronos website here for you guys because it really does highlight the the uh, the features that Crypto Play does have to offer. Sorry, Chronos Play. And the big thing here is that Chronos Play is basically interoperable with the two biggest gaming engines in the industry. That is the Unity and the Unreal Engine. So now the Unreal Engine plugin for Chronos is available in the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And since it has been made available... It has actually been downloaded more than 15,000 times in less than three weeks. That shows you a massive slew of developers that are interested in building out on the Chronos chain with the Unreal Engine plugin. And I really do think that it is only a matter of time before we see a ton of games being launched here on the Chronos chain. I think it is definitely going to be one of the top three chains in terms of that blockchain gaming. And as we have discussed on the channel plenty of times, blockchain gaming is probably the strongest sector of the blockchain industry as a whole. It has shown a ton of resilience throughout the bear market a ton of growth in the bull market and there is a lot of demand for gamers to have true ownership of their assets which can be achieved through the blockchain so very bullish news here for chronos play this integration not to mention the fact that in under three weeks at least 15,000 developers have showed interest in the actual unreal engine plugin so very good news there and we also got to talk about the crypto.com metaverse that i do believe they are launching on the chronos chain and that is in the form of the Loaded Lions Metaverse, which has been confirmed for an expected release date in late 2022 or early 2023. Now, Red Falcon here, one of the community managers for the Loaded Lions, has always been very honest and transparent when it does come to both the Lions and to whatever is going on with the Crypto.com company themselves as we can clearly see by that thread where he talked about all that balance sheet and the employee layoff FUD and a lot of what he said did seem to be proven right just two days later with that post about the European headquarters in Paris. Now we've also seen him say in a Twitter space, granted this was an unofficial Twitter space, but he said and I quote, the game is sexy AF, okay? And what this indicates to me is that if Red Falcon is saying that, that means they must be very close to some sort of finished product here on the game. I think that if it was still in development or if it was still a very rough draft of the game, then that is what he would have said. But when somebody tells me that a game looks sexy, that implies to me that it is pretty close to being done and polished. Then you factor in that he did pretty much say they're looking for a launch in late 2022 or early 2023. And it leads me to believe that this game is very close to being done and that we may see some gameplay maybe even within the next couple of months. I think that would do very, very well for just the the morale of the loaded lions community who definitely has been getting a little bit patient or impatient as of lately personally i'm letting them take their time with this one i want them to get it right so whether it takes three or six months i don't really care because i know the game is coming eventually and i think it is going to create a lot of demand for the lions as well as put a lot of attention on the chronos chain if crypto.com can really flex those muscles here and show them what the chronos chain is capable of in terms of those game five applications so like really getting this game right would just be bullish for crypto.com in multiple different sort of products areas right like it would be good for the lions it would be good for the cyber cubs and it would be good for the chronos chain it would attract a lot of game developers and talent onto that chain so i really do think that they are going to get this one right and i cannot wait to see that final product now we also have to talk here about a ton of money flowing into the chronos chain in the past 48 hours you can see here that this is the one day change on DeFi llama in terms of total value locked and chronos chain actually saw a 15% increase here, 14.93% in 24 hours, going all the way from 687 million in total value locked up to 782 million. So about 100 million in TVL added there in less than a 48 hour period. 
And I have to believe that based on the amount of capital flowing into Kronos, that is not retail, okay? That is not $100 million of retail investors coincidentally moving all of their money into the Kronos chain at one time within the same 48-hour period. When I see big money like this flowing into Kronos and not consistently, but sort of in like a very aggressive manner in a short period of time, that leads me to believe that it is big money making their moves and actually allocating capital onto Kronos. Kronos. Now, one possibility that we did discuss is with the whole Solana Solana hack that happened here, we could actually be seeing some money flow out of Solana and into other blockchains that people do trust more. But I honestly think it has a lot more to do with the fact that the crypto.com exchange will be coming soon to the United States, as well as the confirmation of the Loaded Alliance metaverse game coming soon. I think that big money is really starting to wake up to the power of what the Kronos chain does have to offer. And do keep in mind that while this is speculation, we have already actually seen confirmation that institutions are in fact considering Crow in their long-term crypto portfolio. Starting off here with Grayscale, the biggest crypto asset manager in the United States. Um, and you can see here that these are some of the assets that are currently in their product family. And this announcement came out a couple of months back. They announced three new projects they were looking at adding to their portfolio. And that included ApeCoin, KNC, and what do you know, Crow, Kronos coin right there. I mean, this indicates to me, listen, Grayscale, they are the biggest crypto investment firm in the US and they really are just like a gauge of investor sentiment, of institutional investor sentiment when it does come to crypto. And the fact that they are considering Crow at the same time that crypto.com is working to make their products a lot more friendly to institutions. And we obviously know that their products are vertically integrated with the Kronos chain. I think that we are going to see a lot of institutional money, not only on the centralized exchange side of things, but also on the DeFi side of things. And that is why I think we saw that massive increase in total value loss there and i really cannot wait to see some official confirmation of these institutions loading the boat with chronos coin and you guys may be wondering if institutions are buying why have we not seen that in the price and do keep in mind that um, they can be doing this through dark pools which is basically meant to uh, make these trades over the counter so it does not have massive influxes on the price but i don't think it's a coincidence that we saw that big boom in total value locked after a very bullish news week for crypto.com and chronos now, hopping into the weekly Kronos growth statistics, there are really just two main charts here that I want to show you guys. And the first one here are the top native dApps on Kronos by weekly volume. In first place, we got Mima's Finance with 123 million. In second place, we got Tectonic with 36 mil. In third place, VVS with 28 mil. And then in fourth and fifth, MMF and Single Finance with 8.87 mil and 1.56 mil, respectively. So Mima's Finance really carries the boat this week here like it has like four times more transaction volume than tectonic does in second place and then tectonic and vvs still showing some very considerable weekly volume with mmf and single finance really dropping off i think right now mimas tectonic and vvs are the three strongest dApps on the chronos chain in terms of those dexes but do keep in mind that the chronos chain is still very young we actually covered board candy city the other day a new dex that is launching on the chronos chain very soon they had a very successful uh pre-sale token launch there on saturday and the point being that we are still very early into chronos and this game is really anybody's game at this point we could definitely see some new dApps come up here and enter this top five no problem in fact i expect that to happen as we are still very early on in the chronos chains development keep in mind it is not even a year old yet that is how early we are to this party now we're also going to compare the social engagement between chronos and the bnb chain in the last 90 days and chronos has been destroying bnb in terms of of that social engagement up 61.5 percent with the bnb chain only up 1.5 percent and this just goes to show you I mean, listen, a big thing, a big part of our investment thesis when it comes to Crow and Kronos is yes, Binance and the Binance Smart Chain are the clear leaders right now, but the Crypto.com team and the Kronos Chain are in their very early phases of development, and I do believe that in the long run, Crypto.com and Kronos has what it takes to not only reach Binance's level, but also surpass them to become the number one centralized exchange and even have the Kronos Chain surpass the Binance Smart Chain in the top three 
three. I think that is definitely a possibility for this project in the long run. And you can see here that Kronos is benefiting from being in that early phase of development with the social engagement. So the amount of people talking about Kronos on social media up 60% while BNB's um, awareness and social engagement really has not moved at all in the past three months. Now we're going to wrap this up here taking a look at DeFi Llama to take a look at the total value locked on the Kronos chain. And as we did just discuss, we did see a massive boom this week for Kronos in terms of TVL to the tune of about 100 million or like 15% more total value locked on the chain. Now, VVS Finance is making up 54% of the Kronos chain at the moment. And if we take a look at Kronos in respect to other chains, we are still sitting comfortably in ninth place here. And that is once again absurd for a chain that has not even been out for a year yet. We have Phantom here at 500 mil in TVL. So Kronos with a substantial $280 million lead. And I definitely think that it does sit comfortably in this top 10. And we are now only about, what is this? Like 130 mil off of actually passing Solana in TVL. I think it is only a matter of time before Kronos does surpass Solana. And then Optimism, Arbitrum, I think it is slowly going to make its way into this top five. And that is what we are looking for here long-term when it does come to Kronos. Now taking a look at the EVM side of things. So this is only for the EVM compatible chains and you're going to notice here that well the first thing you're going to notice is that my laptop is not loading for some reason but whenever it does load here we go we are sitting comfortably in a seventh place so very very impressive growth here from Kronos that has just left its beta phase we are still in the very early stages of development and yeah long term I think this is easily a top five blockchain in terms of total value locked and I think the crypto.com team is going to have no problem taking it there in the long run so without further ado i hope you guys did enjoy the content in today's video you know what to do if you made it all the way to the end you are an absolute champion let me know in the comments down below to claim that champion status also go ahead and let me know your answer to the question at the beginning of the video are you excited for the crypto.com exchange i hope you are all having a restful and peaceful sunday and i hope to catch you in the next one peace out for now